got another question here on the aromatic chemistry topic. So as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to do it first. Okay, so part A, so why is um, benzene sort of resistant to bromination whereas alkenes do it readily? All down to the nature of the pi electrons. So in benzene, the pi electrons are delocalized. So the low electron density of the pi electrons means benzene is unable to polarize the bromine molecule. Whereas in alkenes, the pi electrons are localized, so they're just shared between the two carbons of the double bond. So that means the pi electrons have a high electron density and therefore can polarize a bromine molecule. So the structure of the organic compound formed in reaction one, so obviously the bromine molecule is going to add across this carbon-carbon double bond and it's going to give us that. Next part, we've got six peaks in the carbon-13 NMR spectrum. Just quickly explain this colour coding. So these, this is unique, this one is as well, so is that one, so it's three unique carbon environments. They're equivalent, they're equivalent, and that's unique. So six altogether. Next part, so there's three possible answers. You could either have the two bromo isomer, the three bromo isomer, or the four bromo isomer. And I've just put them on this side of the molecule just because it would have crashed into that hydrogen basically. And the type of mechanisms that have taken place in reaction one is electrophilic addition, reaction two, electrophilic substitution. 